Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. <laughs> what, um, okay, because <clears throat> I didn't, I don't think I asked you this yet, but, um, what, um, when, when Nipsey Huck Hustle was, uh, was, uh, murdered in front of his store, what impact did that have on California? Because from the outside looking in from Texas, it seemed as if it brought people together for a second. You heard small things that went on, but after that, for a second, then after that, it was just over. Or did we, or it just, the, 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 the people stopped talking about it on TV and it made us, the press stop, you know, holding press on it. What, 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 what was up with that? I mean, how did the people affect, do you think it affected in a positive way to where it made people change? Yeah, you had uh, mostly a, a positive effect or brought awareness uh, to whatever, uh, uh, it could be uh, awareness to gun violence. It could be awareness to economical empowerment. It could be uh, awareness to how you can uh, come from out the gutter and change your life. There's a lot of things that, uh, and like I said, I'd like to speak, and, and we really need to quit speaking ill of the dead. Okay. A lot of times on this social media, we're speaking up, and, and if you don't have something to say positive, it's best to let that go. So when it comes to Nipsey, he did have an impact because of his culture. And regardless of guys that were from a friend, family of four or worn fractions, they still, he had that respect. And it was tragic to what it had, but it also created the opportunity for us and those that were on the west side of uh, Los Angeles, because you got Bompton, Compton, Watts, Los Angeles, West Side, East Side, not South Central. I'm off the West Side. He's off the West Side. I grew up over there. I know quite a lot of his family members. So he had an impact, but particularly uh, when the uh, uh, incident occurred for 30 days, uh, pretty much across the L.A. County. That's what I, and at the West Side, there was no gunplay. That was a, a morning. They had a LA Gangs Unite to where a lot of the guys came. But once again, local elected officials, the newspapers, they didn't write nothing in there. It might have been on TMZ and the white folks, but when it came to the local black newspaper, and we have to remember the uh, propaganda, and if it's not used in its proper right, and we have yellow journalism to where they are not reporting real news. Hitler controlled the Jews by mm -hmm. this. So the same thing can occur. We didn't get the airplay, we didn't get what we needed, but a lot of people went and ascended to another level behind that with fake prophecies where it was uh, profit over uh, property as far as helping the community and they went on and they came back. So once again, we have to go to our elected officials and those that are held accountable that could create it a safe haven and an avenue for this dialogue to continue. And they're still having uh, 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 events for him and, and things, but we also have events for other organizations and other groups of men that are also doing it. So that's yeah. just part of the game. I, because I believe the store, uh, we, it closed down and, and, and that was something we went before we, I, I'm a clothing store owner myself, so we went to the store, frequent into the store when we were coming to LA because we, black business owner. I met him at Magic. Me and him talked, and it was without anybody around, just me and him, you know, and about business, you know, and uh, you know, it was dear to us, and we right, we we went over there beforehand because we we are family that we're like that. Our kids work in the store, and it's the same vibe, you know. And um, <clears throat> just was a horrible thing when I seen that happen. The way they broadcast it across the social media waves, you just don't see things broadcast like that um, uh, back in the days when we first came up. You know what I mean? Well, they didn't have the social media now, yeah. or the advent of the phone. But even on the news, you didn't you didn't see it. You, you they would show you maybe the yellow tape, or maybe a you know some some they would never even show you. They would they were very very precise to not showing you mm -hmm. certain things on the, that television, yeah. which tells you a vision. But that's the difference between the television, they monitor and they, you know, decide what y you need to see. Social media, first come, first serve. Boom. Whoever can get a video first, that's what you're going to see. And what's amazing is uh, you use an artist's record and in five seconds, they beat on took your video down for uh, using you the so artist's right. right. But you, we don't have uh, 
uh, Indian red boy get uh, uh, killed on on Instagram or Facebook Live. They didn't take that mm-hmm. down. We we was in 2015. They was posting dead bodies, man down here. So a lot of times we have to hold uh, social media and those that are running that and stand up for us. Mm-hmm. You will you will chastise us. Uh, you know, we we as a race. We, we look, we hear Megan's Law, Amber Alert, Three Strikes. Mm-hmm. Every time a, a white person or, or somebody other than our race have a problem, they make a law and name it. And here we is. We, we have to really stand up and be proud of ourselves first and come to love ourselves first. That's the what? message I preach. Go ahead. Well, I was, we're just, I mean, what did you, I'm going to let you get you one more, one more say, and then we're going to say that I can't, I, I know we got a time, we got to say true to um, No, but the th- social media have its pros and cons, because if it wasn't for people taking up those videos, yes, it's gruesome and, you know, it's bad, but and if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have a lot of things coming to awareness. You know what I mean? Even like with the vaccine. When you talk about the vaccine and everybody is so scared to take the vaccine and so forth, when I think about back in the days growing up in school and you had vaccines for everything, but we had to take it, but we didn't know how many people actually died from the vaccines that we were taking as kids because... We didn't broadcast it. Didn't broadcast it, but because of all this awareness is bringing up to everybody through social media, it put fear in us because now we have the choice to say... Okay, this is what happens. Do I do I want to take it or do I not want to take it? You see what I mean? So there are pros and cons from you know social media and everybody having their phones up because even with police brutality, people being stopped illegally and you have a you know the phone, you have somewhat proof compared to their body cam which can go missing. Let me say something about. Uh the difference than maybe you and, and, and people that's really about this. I've seen a lot of people with George Floyd where they had cameras up. Mm-hmm. If I'd have been there, they'd have had to kill me with George Floyd. Wow. Hey, Mark, that was our mentality. I wouldn't have been there taking no picture. I'd have had to take that ass whooping or whatever, and I got video where I've done it before and told them you're gonna have to kill me or take me to jail behind violating my rights. So when you go to talking about video and standing there and that, no, sometimes you got to intervene. Wow. Mm -hmm. Instead of sitting there, it's no way I could have sat there and watched no man die die and they'd have to whoop my ass because I would have knew they ain't gonna kill me. I might get my ass whooped. But I ain't gonna let him sit up here and do that brother like that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.